Yes, yes, we back with some more pressure for you today. Y'all know what's going on, man. My man's came in. We're going to give him a little temp today. Let's get busy. First things first, you want to comb and pick everything out. You know, we artists, so we got we to gotta clean the canvas. We got to get our canvas ready for this art masterpiece. Then the second thing you want to do is make your ball line. So I'm going to go ahead and make my ball line at the top of the ear there. And then I always come up and flick to the ball line just to make it easier to fade out once I start fading it out. Now I'm coming with my Andy's Masters completely open. I'm making my first guideline. I'm gonna come up about a half an inch and making sure everything's at that length. Then I'm gonna go ahead and close it up to the last, almost the last notch, the notch before the last notch. Stretch the skin and flick out with my corners. Then I'm gonna close it up all the way and take that guideline all the way out. And I'm doing the same thing to the beard. I'm taking a chunk out. Go ahead and close it up some. And notice how I'm stretching the skin. When you stretch the skin and you got a small fading area, it makes that fading area larger. So when you stretch the skin, you know you're going to win. Now I'm coming with my two guard completely open and I'm coming with the grain. This is how I like to blend bulk. I like to blend bulk with the grain. So I'm coming completely open and uh, I kind of skim the bush and then I start digging in once I get to the fading area. And then I go ahead and close the clippers up and do the same thing. So you start with it open and then you close it up. Now I'm coming with my one and a half guard completely open. And I'm flicking up and I'm trying to stay in this corner as I'm flicking up. I'm doing a, a low temp, so I only want to fade this corner out near the ear. And I want to keep the whole front of the hairline where the sidebar is at. I want to keep that dark. So I'm stretching the skin and I'm fading in this area. And then I go ahead and close it up and do the same thing, but gradually stay lower. Now, again, with my one guard, I'm coming completely open. Stretching the skin. When you stretch the skin, you know you're going to win. I'm flicking out in this corner right here. Just gradually flicking. I'm coming with the grain, smoothing everything out. Stretch the skin, flicking at that right there. And you can see the blend is coming together already. Now I'm going to close that up. Go ahead and flick out using my corners. I'm coming with the grain, smooth everything out again. And as you can see, that blend is coming together nicely. Now I'm going to do some detail work. I'm starting with my Andy's Masters completely open. I'm using my corner, I'm stretching the skin, I'm flicking out where that, where that, where I was using the one guard at. Now I close it up one notch and I gradually come lower. And I close it up again and I come lower again. And I'm going to close it up again and do the same thing again. This is a perfect example of lever play, guys. I always preach lever play. You want to learn your lever and the more you have the lever closed, the more hair it'll cut. But if you had the lever open, it'll cut less hair. So as you can see, I came back up in the fade. Now my lever is completely open. I'm going to flick out in this area right here because I see a little bit of inconsistency. And that's, 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 this is that detail work, that lever play that's going to help you in your fading game very much. So learn your lever system. Doing the same thing on this side, guys. I can't preach this enough. If you want your haircuts to be good, they got to be symmetrical. You can't have one side faded the certain way and then the other side, is, it looks different and it's faded a different way. So you want to do the exact same steps on each side. I'm coming with my Andy's Masters open, flicking out the guideline, right? Then I'm going to do the same thing. I'm coming with my two. I'm going with the grain. Same thing I did on the other side. Coming with my one and a half. I'm flicking up. I'm staying in my corner. Closing it up. And guys, I do the same system. I, I have the same fading system for every fade. I just go from a larger length of hair to a lower length of hair. So for this system, this is exactly what I did. I did a two open with the grain, two closed with the grain. Then I do one and a half open against the grain, stand in the corner. One and a half closed against the grain, stand in the corner. Then a one open against the grain, one closed against the grain, and then the barred line. And that's the fade right there. Now I'm prepping the hairline, going to comb everything down on the hairline, prep the hairline out. Put your holding spray on there. Make sure everything's pressure, you know. And after I do that, then I'm going to go ahead and start fading the back. Now, guys, I do the same fading system on the back. I might have a three on here or a two. I think this is a two open. Yeah, I'm starting with a two open. I'm coming with the grain. And then I just do everything with the grain on the back. I do everything with the grain. And then I come up. Once I get to that, to that one and a half, I start coming up against the grain. Same thing as on the sides, guys. So I, I just want to preach this as a barber. You have to learn how to separate yourself from everybody else. 
There's a million barbers out here. Everybody can cut good hair, right? So what's going to make you stand out? I know, for example, me, my best attribute is my shape ups. I have very prominent pressure shape ups. I do enhancements. My shape ups are, are very symmetrical and boxy and, you know, that pop out look that most people want. So that's my biggest attribute. So knowing that I take a lot of time doing my shape up. So I found a fading system that's quick and easy, but you know, it might not be the best fading system, right? I will call my blend a, a gradual blend. It blends down, but it's not very drastic. It's not a super transition. It just gradually, you know, blends itself out. But I do that because I focus most of my time on the shape up. So guys, I'm telling you this to say you want to focus on your best attribute, your best skill as a barber. That's what you want to create your system around and focus on that. Make that your shining point, because whatever you're best at, that's what's going to make you different from everybody else. Right. So because I'm very good at doing the shape up, I don't focus on the blend that much. I do. I found a gradual, quick and easy, but still clean blend. And then I focus on the shape up. So right now I'm shaping up the back of the neck and the back of the beard. I'm starting in the middle, making a straight line, going back and forth to ensure everything's straight. Once I get to the curve, I hit the swerve, I'm using my corner, you hitting that swerve move. You know what I mean? Swerving everything from the front to the back. I'm combing over the hairline to ensure everything is straight, no matter where the hair is combed. You hit the hairline one time, comb over it, hit it again. That's how you do it. That's how you make sure everything is pressure. Ain't no other way. Now I'm using my corner again, get to the curve, hit the swerve, connecting the front to the back. Now I'm starting in the front of the hairline. I start and plant directly in the middle, and then I come to the left. And every time I come to the left, I go back to the right. This just ensures that everything is going to come back and connect together and be straight. And then again, I comb everything over the hairline and hit it one more time. Now I'm going to hit my sidebar. And notice how I'm kind of digging in the corner and angling my sidebar forward. This is how I do my shape ups. I angle my sidebar forward, kind of dig in that corner a little bit, comb over it, then hit it again and angle the sidebar forward towards the eye. Right, combing everything over. You can see when I combed it, it looked a little weird. So I had to hit it again. That's why you comb over the hairline. I come straight using half my guard. And once I get to the curve, I hit the swerve. I'm using my corner and I'm doing some swerve action and hitting that C cup. Now I'm doing the same exact thing to the other side, making sure everything is symmetrical. Whatever I do to one side, I had to do to the other side. So again, I'm coming to the right. Every time I come right, I go back to the left. I'm combing all the hair down. Make, every time I, a couple times I hit it to make sure everything is straight where it needs to be. I'm digging in that corner a little bit. Now I'm angling my sidebar forward angling towards the eye combing over the hairline and angling towards the eye coming in with my halfway coming in with my blade halfway once i get to the curve i start using my corner and i hit that swerve stretch the skin you know you're gonna win when you get to the curve hit the swerve it's that simple now i'm cleaning up under the beard and i'm going to start the straight razor work i'm starting where i created my c cup where i created my swerve and i'm going to connect the beard to the swerve and then i'm getting all the excess hair off of the face making my first line i'm wiping everything off and i'm going to hit it again and guys the key to these beard lines you want to stretch the skin until the beard is a straight line and then you hit the straight line and once you let the beard go the natural curve comes back to the beard so all you had to do is stretch the skin until the beard looks straight once the beard looks straight you hit it with the straight razor you clean up all the excess hair right you see how i'm stretching it and it's a straight line wipe everything off Hit it one more time, stretch it, make it a straight line. See how it's straight? See how it's connecting? That's all you gotta do, stretch it to make it a straight line. And then once you let that stretch go, it's gonna curve itself out. When you stretch the skin, you know you're gonna win. Now I'm doing the same thing to the top. Stretching, keeping my razor at a 45 degree angle. Using my corner here to hit this swerve. Look at that. Stretching everything down. This straight razor is what's going to bring everything together. My guy wanted no enhancements, but you can see, you still see that ash line. That's because of the straight razor work and using the right holding spray. It's the pressure way. Now I'm going to go ahead. I'm using some water to wet his hair, saturate his hair. 
rubbing it in and go ahead put some curl cream in there rub that in curl it all around and I'm kind of just using my fingers as like a, a cruddy brush and then I'm going to use my my racket my racket cruddy and uh, go around and curl his hair up you know what I mean I always a pressure bit always comes with a style now as barbers I want you guys to find your best skill whatever makes you different from everybody else and build your system around that and my man didn't want no enhancements today but y'all know it's no enhancements no problem because he came in mad he came in sad but he most definitely left in his bag let's get to it man pressure bits it's nothing but pressure this is what we do man we focus on what makes us good we focus on what makes us shine we add a little extra glare to it add a style you know this is the pressure way come learn how to build your barber business man we got barber tips and tricks teaching how to cut hair man if you want to build your barber business you might as well hit that subscribe button and lock all the way in let's get busy man pressure bips